Okay, we're back, and I'm assuming your server is up and running fantastically. Um, I've already logged in with Joe Password, which is the administrator uh, on a default, um, you know, uh, Pentaho instance. You know, they set up some default users and things like that. So that's that's where uh, you want to be because uh, we're going to use Joe as our lipness. And uh, we're going to modify one of the cubes that it ships with the sample data. And I see how far I know I want to watch what I'm looking at. The, uh, the, when it ships with a tobacco thing, it is still wise. No, no instructions are in this whatsoever. And, and I see how I can tell you what you're trying to do. And so, and I'm going to keep trying as a man in this trial. I'm going to try. And so he can say, I can say one for the one who said, Demi, Demi, he's all and we. So if we go to the new class, crazy, well, this class is crazy for his entire edition. Or you would just go in here and you would go to walls. And then you'd add no cube. And then you'd say assign user uh, no cube user, right? Uh, so all I did was just add, use the add button here to add the user. Then I went to users and I added this no cube user. And I associated it with authenticated as well as no cube because no cube is the role that I'm going to use. That's our dummy role. Okay, so um, let's get started. We're going to open a Schema Workbench, and um, I'm going to create a new one. File new, or actually, what we're going to do is open, open one, right? So uh, we're going to just use the steel wheels as our one where that we're going to add all of our stuff to. Okay. Um, and I've got some red guys here. Cube C wheels is invalid. Okay, so we're going to make sure our connection is good to go. We got test. It's okay. Hmm. This should be up <laughs> and ready to go. Um, let's see. Table field must be empty. Okay, interesting. Okay, so we got rid of that. No big deal. No big deal. Um, okay, so now what we're going to do is we're actually going to add the role. We're going to add the role, and you would simply go to the schema node, because that what it's actually doing is writing XML underneath, and we're going to add the role to the cube. And the new cube is going to be called no cube, right? So now it's defined. And inside of the cube. And now and now notice if you put a little space or something you don't type it right, it's not going to line up. It's not going to map to what's in Pentaho. Okay? So we're going to right click and we're going to add schema grants. So this determines whether somebody uh, actually is going to be able to access the entire schema. Okay? And we're going to say none here. Okay? And what this will do is bring up a big ugly message. Unfortunately, there's no um, pretty way to do this. When when someone has access to nothing, um, you'll see that they can still see the the demo. Uh, or, pardon me. They'll still be able to see the schema even if they don't have access to it. Okay. So we're going to go to File, um, Save As, and I'm just going to go ahead and save it in my documents. And I'm, I'm going to call it um, One uh, Demo. Okay, so I can find it easier later. And I'm just putting that in my documents. And I'm going to change the name here 
I just clicked on the schema and now I'm gonna put in the name I'll just put one demo so it shows up in my list easy okay and also notice something kind of weird about this is like if you're in if you change something when you're clicked inside of a uh, field and then you click out of it you have to click out of it in order for it to write that XML so if I if I put steel wheels and then I go and I publish this it's not going to recognize that change until I click into another part outside of the field in some way uh, it's kind of a funky thing that'll mess you up sometimes if you just made a change but you didn't click outside the field okay so now we're gonna go ahead and publish this guy and we say uh, yes and we're going to say OK. And we're just going to put it. Now, I already have, I've already navigated to the steel wheels slash analysis, right? And I'm going to call it one demo steel wheels, OK? Just so I don't overwrite any old thing. And it says publish successful. OK, so we have something that says no access, right? None. Uh, now, Joe is our administrator, so we want to go and make sure that Joe can still see it, OK? So the way in which we would do this is, uh, you know, if you're an Enterprise Edition user, you would see this. You could use Analyzer Report, or you could use the um, Analysis View. Okay. So uh, it's a little bit of this, but I'll kind of show both. And let me scroll down here. Okay, so there it is. It's already appearing. So we go to OK. And there you go. We're obviously at full access because Joe is in the admin role and is able to do whatever he wants, right? So Joe can still see everything. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go file and log out. And then we're going to log in with my no cube user. And, you know, I just left a password. Okay. Log in. I'm just going to, as this thing loads, I'm just going to move. I just have some client stuff on there. So when that's done loading, I will bring it back. Hmm. Just taking a moment. Okay, there we go. Great. Okay, so everything is collapsed for the most part, and that's what I wanted. Just so uh, everything's kosher, so I'll put it back. So now what we're going to do in this in this round, I'll use the uh, the analysis view. Okay. Now. Okay. So basically, saying this page cannot be accessed directly; it must be linked from other pages. So you'll notice that it's still showing it down in the drop down but isn't giving me the ability to um, to access it. So it's not, it's not a very sexy, if you will, way of saying, hey, you don't have access, right? It's even uglier when you do the analyzer report. And then we say, uh, we want this, this demo, right? And it just gives you this, un unable to find a cube. And when in fact, I, I blocked it on schema level, right? Okay. So that's a, but the, the bottom line is you're, on, you're able to restrict people. And if you have multiple cubes and uh, you won't receive any of these errors if the person has access to at least one cube in your schema. Okay? So the next thing we're going to do, so we, we have none. And, and the, the funny thing is, is like Mondrian security kind of works a little bit differently than it does maybe then you would typically think like you would think at the top level if there's no security that's it right well that's not really how uh, Mondrian cubes work so if I if because for example if I go down here and I add a cube and there's only one cube in the schema right and I say access to all and notice how the schema workbench is saying hey there's another cube here and that's that's the cube there um, you'll see that uh, I have the um, uh, I'll be able to select this. So I'm going to go ahead and publish this. And notice that you can't just drag it to your local. You have to publish it in this case. Some solution files, you can, in fact, do that. But anyway, just, just to stick to the point, you can, in fact, 
uh, or you, you have to, to publish these things. So I publish it, and I'm just going to overwrite my old one. Okay, and I say publish. Ooh, that's interesting. Okay, I think I have to click out. I think that happens sometimes. Or I'm accessing the cube and it's not allowing me to, to, to get out of that. Uh, we'll see. Publish. Might not allow me to overwrite it if, if the system's using the file. We'll see. Okay, published. Published successful. Okay, I think what the, the deal was there is I was, uh, it doesn't like it when you edit a field and sometimes your cursor's still in there for some reason. So anyway, we uh, just changed this. So let's go back to Pintaho. And we'll go File, New, Analysis View. And it says Demo Steel Wheels, right? And you'll see now it shows everything. So did you see that? On the top level it said no. But the funny thing is, at the bottom level, say yes, <laughs> it will in fact show you uh, what it is you're looking for. So that's something to keep in mind uh, when you're building these things. Okay. So um, now what we're going to do is further modify our lovely schema here. And we're going to use, uh, we're going to use so we've already used the cube grant. Now what we're going to do is do a dimension, and we're going to say add dimension grant, right? And let's say we don't want uh, a certain part of the business to see our customer list, or you're having maybe a customer actually use your data, right? You don't want them to see all of your customers. So what you can do is say, uh, no, you can't see my customers. Just put it right underneath the cube grant none. Okay, and make sure you just click out just to make sure that it writes the XML when you leave the when you leave the field. So we're just going to go ahead and publish this again. And you say yes. So you say okay. Hmm, it's taking a very long time for being local. Might be because I'm recording the video. And then publish. Publish successful. Great. Okay, now let's go to here. And this time I'll do it in the analyzer report. And then we'll say OK. And you'll see that customers are no longer here for this role. The, the whole entire uh, role has been blocked. So now if we go to File, New Analysis View, which is basically JPivot, for all you community edition people over there, out there, um, you click OK. And you can see that there is no customer dimension that I have access to, but I'm still able to drill down on anything else I'd like to see.